Journaling channel. Today I've got a new class that I'm going to be telling you all about. So this class is going to be taking place on the 3rd of October at 2pm Eastern Standard Time. Um, so that's in Australia, so I look up for a Hobart and you'll find the time conversion to wherever you are. The topic this time is all about why we art journal. So for me, as you've heard in lots of my art journaling, I art journal to practice, to play with new supplies, to have fun, to relax, but I also art journal for my own mental health and for my well-being. I find if I haven't been art journaling for a few days, I know and the people around me know and say, maybe you should go and actually spread some paint around. So the class that we're going to be exploring is showing you some ways to look after yourself, to think about that mindfulness as your art journaling. Now I know for me there's some days that you know I love sharing what I do and there's some things that I art journal about that while I need to get them out on the page and I need to express myself, they're not necessarily things that I want people to be asking me questions about or reading or ask, asking the, the um, questions about it, I suppose. And it's just for me to process through what I'm feeling so I can put it in my own words. So this um, art journaling class is called Art Journaling Hidden Secrets. So it's not that we're hiding it from ourselves, but it's more about being able to express ourselves and not worrying about other people, you know, finding out stuff we might not be ready for them to find out yet. So I've got some examples of some of the types of things that we're going to be doing in our class. Um, this is the page that um, is on the class website. So this page came about because I kept getting asked the question, why do you art journal? And I put in the answer, it's probably backwards there. This is my well-being. this is my therapy, this is my joy. So the reason I um, have used this page as our sample is this is the type of thing we're going to be doing. Having some flaps that you can choose to have in your artwork, but if people want to open them, they can. Now, for this sort of page, I was happy to read why um, I want people to art journal. So it's very readable. But I'm also going to show you some ways to make your journaling a little bit more hidden. So you can be very, very honest with your writing, um, but not worry about anyone reading it. So this is a sample of that sort of page. Um, you can't tell on this page, but there is writing all the way through this in the background. But I've added more and more layers over the top because on this page, there's a lot of really deep stuff to me that was really bothering me at the time when I was creating this page, including um, some, I didn't, couldn't get it all in. So you can see I've got it written all over the place. Lots and lots of writing. Again, hidden away, but there is absolutely no way that someone could pick up this and I couldn't today pick this up and actually read what I've written there. I know in my head what this page is about, um, but it's just, it's that hidden. Um, and then putting the message over the top that kind of connects to what I was saying in the background, but it's um, a step away from me enough that I don't need to worry about it too much. So um, those are the sorts of things that we're talking about. Um, one of the things that I do for my mindfulness, I suppose, is when I'm feeling really anxious or when I'm feeling that <clears throat> blocked and I can't do stuff, I do an awful lot of mic making in my books. Now, the reason I chose this page was because during the middle of our COVID lockdown, when our local hospital had been closed down and the only hospital was three, two and a half hours away, my mum ended up um, having heart problems and being flown by the air ambulance down to the other the hospital. So this was me, <clears throat> obviously very worried, very concerned, sitting at my desk and just mic making and mic making and mic making until I knew she was um, had landed safely at the hospital on the other side. So <clears throat> there's no journaling on that page, but that process of mic making really sort of helped me. So we're going to be exploring some of the ways to... Um, delve into so those bigger moments some ways to use it as more relaxation and just that mindfulness of just getting out of your headspace and just doing um 
Another technique that I do, and this one was a video recently, um, I do sort of image transfers or something that I'm familiar with that I can just do and not have to think about. So this is a page I knew I, my anxiety was getting a bit um, big for me, so I need to sit down and just do it. And again, a lot of this is very subconscious about what you're doing, the colours you choose and so on. And it doesn't have to be plastered all over this. And that's what we're, doing, we're going to be looking at in class. It's totally up to you what you choose to express or not in what we're doing. So um, This one's not finished, but just putting sort of flaps and so on in that you can um, hide stuff behind. So that's what the new class is going to be all about. It's perfect for people who are really interested in night journaling, who haven't started night journaling before. It's great for people who are looking at that um, well-being, art therapy type um, reason for art journaling, but also for people who've been art journaling for a long time and just want to play along and do something a bit different, um, you'll have lots of fun too. If you've been in our classes before, you know we've got a beautiful, beautiful class community. Um, <clears throat> over the three weeks, so I think it's three weeks until the next class, um, I'll be going in and doing some lives before the class. I always go in and do a live session on what supplies we're going to use because we've all got different supplies in our in our studios <laughs> um, so I will go through and show you what I'm going to be using you and give you lots of examples but for this um, art journaling class if you've got paint a journal a pair of scissors and some paint pens you'll be set. You really don't need anything highly technical for this. So um, we'll, we'll have lots and lots of fun. Um, and the other thing that in our class, I'll put in files and some extra support materials. So while you get the three hour class, the classes usually run for about three hours, you'll get lots of extra stuff as well. And the great thing is those classes are now open um, will be open for you indefinitely. So once you are in the group, you have access to all the materials in there until Facebook decides to close everything down, which I don't think is going to be for a little while. So <laughs> I think I think we're safe there. Um, so in the description box below, I'm going to pop the link to book into the class. You can book in now. The class is live. Oh, sorry. Um, bookings are live. Um, the classroom is set up and I will add you into the classroom. It takes about 48 hours between me getting the information from the business owners who run the, the store um, to me getting the information and being able to add you to the group. So don't panic if you don't get an email straight away because it does have to go through a middle middleman before it gets to me. Um, but on the shop site, there is an email for me if you're really concerned or something has gone astray, just email me and I can sort it out for you. The other thing that's on the shop site is all my previous classes. So if you haven't seen any of my classes before or would like to go back and take them, they are still available. And because they're already over, all the content's there. So as soon as you've got access to the classroom, you've got access to all the content. So for those people who are interested in what we did in our last class, <clears throat> which is all about faces, we were very busy. So I did, um, quick live about um, colour theory so I talked to you a, a little bit about colour theory and we talked about um, how to draw faces, how to colour them in, how to do some backgrounds, um, how to create this beautiful effect with modelling paste and sprays, Oops. how to do some faces like that. So it's using a combination of the Dina Wakeley faces but I also put in some extra lives on how to draw faces and stuff as well. So if you're interested in doing a bit of face drawing or portrait drawing uh, or using those big large faces, not sure what to do with those, um, the faces in your art journals class is a really good one to check out too. So I hope you'll come along and join us in our next class. I love having you. We have so much fun. And um, if you've got any questions about what we're going to be doing in the class, please feel free to pop it in the comments in here or contact me via Facebook, um, Neve's Art Journal, or um, pop it in the DMs in Instagram as well and I'll get back to you. Okay, I'll see you all soon. Lovely to see you. Bye.